Princess Anne and her husband, Sir Timothy Lawrence, are making the first royal trip abroad of 2024 to Sri Lanka. Princess Anne appears to have no intention of giving up her title of the hardest working member of the British royal family. Queen Elizabeth's only daughter made the first international royal trip of 2024 on Wednesday, touching down in Sri Lanka for an official visit with her husband, Vice Admiral Sir Tim Lawrence. The royal couple took a commercial flight for the journey, with Sri Lankan airlines documenting their trip on social media. In photos posted by the airline on X, Princess Anne and Sir Tim's down-to-earth nature is displayed by them carrying their own bags onto the flight. Sri Lankan Airlines captioned the images, a service fit for a royal. We are delighted to welcome on board Her Royal Highness the Princess Royal on her journey from London to Colombo on a two-day official visit to mark the 75 years of diplomatic relations between Sri Lanka and the UK. It is truly an honour to extend Her Royal Highness and the delegation our inherent Sri Lankan warmth and hospitality, thereby presenting the first taste of our island home through our service. We thank the HRH for honouring us with her presence on board and choosing us for the journey. Princess Anne, 73, and Sir Tim, 68, touched down at Bandaranak International Airport in Katunayak, again carrying their bags as they deboard. A welcome ceremony at the airport saw the royals greeted by dancers, music, Union Jack flags and a red carpet. Princess Anne, sporting sunglasses, was received by dignitaries including the British High Commissioner to the Democratic Socialist Republic of Sri Lanka, His Excellency Mr. Andrew Patrick and Minister of Foreign Affairs of Sri Lanka, His Excellency Mr. Ali Sabri. Princess Anne and Sir Tim kicked off their engagements right away, heading first to the MAS Active Factory, one of the largest apparel tech companies in South Asia and identified by the UK Fashion and Textile Association as an important Sri Lankan partner. As president of the UKFT, the Princess Royal Met staff and toured the facility to hear more about their innovative designs and partnerships with UK brands. Also on the agenda for Wednesday are a visit to Save the Children Sri Lanka's head office and the Lady Ridgeway Hospital for Children. This evening, the royal couple will be received by the President of Sri Lanka, His Excellency Mr. Ronald Wickramasinghe and the First Lady of Sri Lanka, Mrs. Maithri Wickramasinghe to mark 75 years of diplomatic relations between their two countries. Princess Anne, who is known as the royal family's hardest worker for the massive number of engagements she undertakes each year, became the first royal to step out for an official engagement in the new year when she visited the Oxford Farming Conference in her role as honorary president of the organization last week. She said in a speech that, farming as a family enterprise understands long-term value, according to Credit and Milling. Other members of the royal family have yet to fully return to public duties after the Christmas break. Kate Middleton and Prince William started 2024 out of the public eye, spending time with their three children, Prince George, Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis, during their holiday school break. The Princess of Wales also marked her 42nd birthday on Tuesday, and the couple likely spent the weekend privately celebrating with friends and family. Last year, Prince William and Princess Kate had their first public engagement of 2023 on January 12. Meanwhile, King Charles was spotted on Sunday at a church outing, where he chatted with two young brothers traveling in a toy Land Rover. It was a very surreal experience, said Georgina, the boy's mother, according to PA via the BBC. We went to see, King Charles, go in, and we weren't planning on seeing him come out, but because he made such a beeline for the landy to start with, we thought we had to go back and show him it.